Hello everyone. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. I am back with a treat for you today. This is my series. She put race to the side and one love. You're wondering who is this beautiful woman? Who's this beautiful man? Who is this beautiful couple? Well, this is Nordia Witter known as Coco and her executive husband, Jonathan Baker. I've shown you Lessa Milan and her husband, Richard, who reside in Dubai, and you can catch them on The Real Housewives of Dubai. I've shown you Candace Owens and her husband, George Farmer, as well as Creme de la Femme and her Russian businessman husband. What do these women have in common besides being beautiful? Well, they chose the best man. They didn't care about race. They chose who was best for them, men who loved them and who they loved and gave them the option to work if they don't want to work. These women are also successful in their own right. These men have joined these women and they have a legacy and they're doing the damn thing. These women take care of themselves both inside and out. Just like Lessa Milan and Creme de la Femme, she's also of Jamaican heritage. Shout out to Jamaican women. I'm also of Jamaican heritage as well. And she's from Kingston. And I didn't know that her and Lessa Milan are actually friends as well. Now, she currently resides in London with her husband, Jonathan Baker, also known as John Baker. He is a hotel connoisseur and a music executive. He's the founder of G-Jam Hotel and Studios, which is a luxury resort recording studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, as well as G-Street Records. He's been working hard. And he's successful in his own right. He started off working as a promoter and a fashion designer. Around 1978, he opened a fashion store called Exium in London, where he styled several celebrities such as Duran Duran, which was one of the biggest groups of the 1980s. Around the 1980s, he actually moved to New York City, where he started working with music promotion and joined a booking agency that worked with several nightclubs from New York City to Berlin to London, as well as the Ritz Hotel. In 1984, he returned to London and helped organize Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick's first UK tour, and he became half owner of the record label G Records. He signed many artists and promoted them. One of his big clients was Queen Latifah. 1991 through 1997, he became a senior A&R of Island Records. In 2002, he moved to Jamaica and, and actually became a citizen of Jamaica. Already successful again, he founded G Jam Records Studios. Many artists have recorded there, such as India Ari, Wyclef John, No Doubt, Bjork, the late legendary Amy Winehouse, and Drake, just to name a few. So, as you can see, He's been working hard for a long time and it's all paid off. A fun fact, his mother is Maureen Baker. She is a British fashion designer who actually designed the wedding dress of Princess Anne, who is the daughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II. So now let's get into Nadia. And one thing I can say, his mother and Nadia had a fabulous relationship, which is something you definitely want, which is so great to see. So Nadia, this well-traveled beauty and singer and songwriter, she grew up with a musical background, not just from her parents and several other family members. She sung in the choir in high school. She attended the Edna Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts in Kingston, Jamaica. She later worked as a commercial and glamour model. I mean, she's gorgeous. In Jamaica, she won first place for Miss Venus, second place for Miss Surrey, as well as a bikini and best legs competition. With her beauty and popularity, she started making appearances in music videos with artists such as Shaggy, Ali G, Donnell Jones. Fate came in and she met her now husband in 2004. The same year her hit single, Be Alone Tonight, was out, as well as her hit single, I'm a Player in the Band. And she was also featured in Rolling Stone magazine. So how exactly did Nadia and Jonathan meet? Well, despite both being in the music industry, they actually met at a wine bar. He was mesmerized by her, her beauty. So he asked her for a drink. They got to know each other. 
He asked to drive her home, but as the lady that she is, she declined, but he was very persistent. He pursued her. He kept calling, keeping in touch. They would speak and they would have lunch together. A few weeks later, she did keep turning him down his invitations, but he won her over. They started dating and about two years in, he kept asking Nadia, please move in with me, move in with me. This man was in love with her, move in with me. She was a little hesitant, but she gave in and the rest is history. In 2007, they welcomed their son together. In 2013, he proposed to Nadia on Valentine's Day and she said yes. This was actually on a villa. Officially, they got married December 7th, 2013 on top of the Trident Hotel in Port Antonio, Jamaica, overlooking the water of Port Antonio, the coastline. Absolutely beautiful. The dress she wore was designed by Caro Carroza with Swarovski crystals and pearls. Everything was perfect. She looked beautiful, family and friends there. It was a perfect day. She was even serenaded by R&B superstar Joe while her and her husband had their dance. It was just beautiful and she looked gorgeous. Once they were married, they went on a horse and carriage ride. On their honeymoon, they traveled to Rome, Paris, France, Berlin, and a 10-day trip on a luxury yacht around Turkey and Greece. So far, 17 years strong. This was simply meant to be. They lived a little bit, you know, different lives, but they were joined together. They both have music in common, but they met at a wine bar. Now he did hide from her one thing that he later confessed. He did tell her that he knew who she was, that he would request to see her music videos all the time. This was around 2003. He knew what he wanted. He wanted her, Nadia, and he got Nadia. So I have some really great news also. I actually have spoken to Nadia and she answered a few of my questions that I would like to share with you now. The first thing that I asked her was, what would you tell black women who are scared to interracially date? Nadia told me this. She said society already has these ill-prepared mapped out steps for you because of the race you identify with. Test the waters and explore. You may find a potential soulmate. This is so true. So many people like to stereotype us. They think they know what we like. They have these expectations, all types of stuff. Nadia is saying, let that go and live your life and explore. You never know who could be out there for you. The second question that I asked her was, were you nervous to date a white man? She told me, yes, she was because in Jamaica, you know, people often worry what other people may think about you as black people. Now, we know that Jamaica is diverse, but this is the world. You know, this happens everywhere. And we know that several black women do care sometimes, but you have to let that go. This is your life. You only get one. Date different men. Look at the women that I've shown you. Seriously. Okay. Number three. I asked her, do you have any hobbies? She said, yes, I enjoy traveling and exploring, as you can see. And if you go on her Instagram page, you will also see this, which I will share in the comment section. I also asked her, do you have a special diet? Because she's in amazing shape. She said, no, I simply avoid junk food and soda. And lastly, I asked her, is there anything you would like to share with the ladies, Nadia? And this is what she told me. Nadia said this, and listen closely. Nadia said, if you believe in God, trust God to direct your path in life. Ask and it shall be given and believe with your heart. She said, as a child, I dreamed of things and spoke to God. I wanted a fairy tale wedding and I got it. And I got my white husband, I already knew in my heart would be my husband. Her, her prayers of what she wanted was answered, what she wanted for her life. So I'm happy for her. Roses are red, 
violets are blue nor do you witter we see you we see you i said it before and i'll say it again black women this is the time for you to bloom and live a soft life nordia is sipping on her tea living her best life and probably could care less what any hater has to say when she's not luxuriating around her home she's riding horses going on helicopter rides traveling in style having cookie and tea time having spa moments at the house bike riding spending time at the beach and most of all with her family nordia chose the best man who made her happy and she makes him happy she put being a woman first i repeat she put being a woman first and her prayers were answered may her marriage continue to be strong and i also want to add that the stats have revealed that black women and white men have the longest standing marriages out of any group in this country even though she does live in london but i'm sure this is across the board in any country really but she put race to the side and she chose the best man and she won love and they're two beautiful people two attractive people two successful people and he saw a woman he didn't care about race he saw a beautiful woman i'm sure he didn't give a damn if she was a singer or not he saw a beautiful woman and he went for what he wanted and the rest is history so i thank you all for joining me with this series if you would like to be featured on this series if you know anyone you can leave it in the comment section i would love to show you more merry christmas everyone